from OpenGL Super Bible Seventh Edition. We will learn Part One Foundation, Chapter Five, Data. If you scroll down, you can find Table Five Point One, Buffer Storage Flags. In our previous episode, we learned how to use dynamic storage bit, GL dynamic storage bit. In this episode, we will learn how to use GL map write bit. If you scroll down further, you can find listing 5.1, creating and initializing Buffer. In this code snippet, you can find named buffer storage. We pass null, so no initial data. We do not initialize. We simply allocate buffer storage, but this time we pass GL map right bit, so. GL map right bit is listed in this table. 5.1 buffer storage flag. GL map right bit. Also, if you scroll down, you can find. Listing 5.3 mapping buffer data store with GL map named buffer. We will also use GL map named buffer. We will pass buffer name, then GL write only option. After extracting pointer from our buffer, we copy data to GPU memory pointer PTR. After copying memory, we unmap named buffer. So basically, we test this code. Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is October 3rd, 2022. This is my 93rd episode for C17 2023 Coda SQL OpenGL OpenCL TBB. This is third episode about OpenGL buffer. Also, eleventh episode about OpenGL Supervival seventh edition. We will learn buffer storage flags. More specifically, GL map right bit, GL map named buffer. If you haven't watched my previous episode, episode ninety two, please watch this video. Otherwise, you may not be able to follow my current session. Without further ado, open up Visual Studio. Go to File, New, Project. Select OpenGL Supervival 7 template. Click Next. Make sure you selected CPP 17-2023 parallel your working directory. Select folder. Solution name will be 093 buffer flags. Project name we will select default. Click create. Press Ctrl F5. This is our project template we created in our previous episode. Now Close it. Close it. From source files, double click source.cpp. We will add two shaders. Right click shader file. Add new item. Select utility. Select text file. I will say points. Dot, but right click 
add new item select textile points track so we created two shader files this is vertex shader vertex shader version 450 core copy paste this is fragment shader now in vertex shader in back for v position vertex attribute uniform double current time this is uniform we learned what uniform is in our previous episode out back for vs color copy this paste it here it should be in out back for color for the main we pass to color our input color like this now save all here void main we set gl position v position now plot time current time we do type casting plot it does not work See the pop-up window. OpenGL does not allow C style cast. We have to use C style function style type cast. Plot led 0 0.5 times cosine time plus 0.5 app copy paste this is green green can be sign plot blue red plus green over 2.0 app the reason we make calculation like this is that we want to make color red greater than equal to 0 less than equal to 1 in the same manner green is greater than 0, less than or equal to 1. So, it can be maximum 2. We try to make blue greater than 0, less than or equal to 1.
now ds color this color is output back to red green blue we set alpha 10 for opaque non transparent color or opaque color now we completed our shader this bs color becomes input we pass input to output now save all we can close it arrange like this I will auto hide in the startup this program of course we have to define private glu int program initialize to zero instead of doing this I will use gl name t now scroll up we create program using points vertex points but also prac semicolon please understand that create program is not yet perfect we will improve this function when we discuss shader and the program so please bear with me for the time being gl use program we pass program now we can check error check gl operation we pass message build to build shader program semicolon now press ctrl f5 so we successfully built our shader program now close it if we make syntax error for example like this let's try it ctrl f5 failed to build shader program invalid operation this error message is very terse we will make it more refined in future episodes when we learn about shader and the shader program now restore it back press ctrl f5 once again it should build and run successfully now we need index for vertex attribute we will store it gl int v position index we set it 
negative 1 copy paste we need current time index about these things I discussed in my previous episode now scroll up here this V position index this is vertex attribute so GL get attribute location we pass program then we pass string this variables string throw if true we test if this operation was successful like this minus one in means of failed failed to retrieve v position index now press Ctrl F5. It works successfully. Now close it. If we make typo here, for example, VP, press Ctrl F5, then it fails. Failed to retrieve V position index. Now close it. We fix it back. This we want current times index. Please note that this is uniform. So GL get uniform location. We pass program then the name current time uniforms name in the same manner copy paste if this is negative one then we failed to retrieve current time index press control F5 so everything works perfectly now we can close point vertex shader scroll down we will create a member here SED vector cl plot it is vertices now vertices we will initialize vertices this is vector negative 0.5 Zero point five. This is left top. Then negative zero point five. Negative zero point five. So this is left bottom. Please understand that I specify the vertices in CCW orientation. CCW stands for counterclockwise. This is default 
OpenGL orientation. Now 0.5 then negative 0.5 this is right bottom then 0.5 0.5 this is right I will set it up because these are all pros. Don't miss semicolon. Now press Ctrl F5. It should build and run successfully. Now here we use OpenGL Puffer Song T OpenGL Anchor Point Create buffers named buffer storage Bind buffer to its target. Create buffers named buffer storage. Bind buffer to its target. If you remember this song, you can never fail to learn OpenGL. You can never forget OpenGL programming. So, GL create Buffers. We create a single buffer. This vertex buffer object. Of course, we need to define vertex buffer object here. GL name T buffer vertex buffer object. We make it to Zero default value. We need one more vertex array object. Now scroll up. We created the buffers. Then GL named the buffer story. The first is buffer. We can pass this vertex buffer object then follows size this is byte count of the vertices so gl size i byte count But the C's size we will specify part three vertices. Okay, we will specify part three vertices. So we have to subtract one two elements. So it should be 2. This is element count. Okay. We removed last two elements. Then times the size of GL plot. We give one more parenthesis then gl size i this is byte count so here is 
fight count. Then, GL bit flags. I would set zero. Sorry, I think I missed something. First is buffer. This is buffer name. Second is size. This is size. Then data. We have to pass vertices data. Then chat up. So this is correct. Now create buffers named buffer storage. Bind buffer to each target GL. Bind buffer GL enumeration target GL array buffer. We use this as array buffer, vertex array buffer. So, array. It means vertex array buffer. Now, we check if all operations succeeded. Check GL operation failed to create I will simply copy this then colon copy paste failed to allocate buffer storage Copy, paste, failed to find vertex buffer object. Clone. We finished creating buffer. Now press Ctrl F5. Everything works correctly. Now close it. We need another song. We use open GL vertex song. The open GL anchor point. Create vertex arrays. Find the vertex array. Enable vertex attrib array. Vertex attrib pointer. Create vertex arrays. Find the vertex array. Enable vertex attrib array. Vertex attrib pointer. If you remember this song, you can never forget OpenGL programming. GL create vertex arrays. One, this vertex array object. Sorry, GL. This is good enough. GL find vertex array. Then this vertex array object. Then we have to enable vertex attrib pointer. Create vertex array. Find the vertex array. Enable vertex attrib array. So GL enable vertex attrib array. We have to provide gl unsigned int index for 
but tax at trip index because enable but tax at trip array. This is but tax at trip array. So we pass this v position index. So I will remove blank space. We retrieved this value here, here. Now create vertex array, find the vertex array, enable vertex attribute array, vertex attribute pointer, GL vertex attribute pointer. I will make it bigger. Index. This vertex attrib index. Because vertex attrib pointer. So we provide vertex index here. Vertex attribute index. Then size. What is this size? This is our vertex. Our vertex has two elements. So each vertex has two elements. Then type. The type of vertex. This is GL plot because we defined vertices GL plot. So it should be GL plot. Then GL boolean normalized. GL pulse stride 0. Pointer. This pointer represent offset. So Void pointer offset. Now we check if our operation was successful. Faced, faced, faced. Here failed to create vertex array object. Now failed to find vertex array object failed to enable I would say V position index failed to set vertex attrib pointer so we created up to this point press ctrl f5 this is what we get now close it close it in the render we set current time to pass vertex shader we set current time we can set like this GL uniform 1D 1 double we pass this V position no no current time index then GL double this value we can say GL double. Now we set current time index defined as uniform. Now we draw GL draw arrays GL triangle. 0 then cap
count element count the element count is this vertices size we have to subtract last two elements so minus two minus two okay it should be gl size i we do typecasting don't miss semicolon it does not work triangle so it should be plural now press ctrl f5 it should build and run like this Now close it, close it. Now close all tab. Up to this point, we reviewed what we learned in our previous episode. Now we create one more project, new project. Select OpenGL SP7, click next. Accept default project name. Click Next. Now, right click. Set as Startup Project. Then, rename. Map Purple. Hit Enter. Now, press Ctrl F5. It should build and run successfully like this. Now close it. I will pin down. From the file explorer in our working directory folder 093 opengl sp71 we will copy points fragments points vertex copy move up opengl sp72 paste it here now shader add existing item from our working directory Folder 093.3 Buffer Plagues OpenGL SP72 Select Points Plague Points Vertex Click Add Open up Map Buffer.cpp Also From our previous project Double click Control A, copy here, Control A, paste. Save all, we can close this file. Now press Control F5. It should build and work successfully. We will take copy break. Then we will implement this part of code.
Now I will close all. Then open GL Supervisor 72. We open map buffer. I will auto hide. From startup function, if you scroll down, you can find GL named buffer storage. We initialized data. Now we set it null. Then we pass GL map right bit. So we haven't initialized our buffer storage. Now scroll down in the function render we will create static int all the time by setting zero. If int we typecast current time is not equal to all the time. In this block, we set all the time int current time. Then std rotate. We rotate vertices. Begin vertices. Begin. We rotate two elements. Okay, we rotate two elements. Vertices. End. The reason we have to rotate two elements is that our vertices two elements represent one vertex so we rotate two elements now void pointer map the ptr we use gl map named the buffer this vertex buffer object. Then GL right only. Then GL size I byte count vertices size we subtract two elements for one vertices okay then times size of gl plot we are counting byte count then we need one more parenthesis semicolon we do typecast gl size i we computed byte count then mem cpy we should use s version mapped PTR, this is target, target memory, GPU, vertex buffer object, memory pointer, then byte count, vertices, data, 
this is source pointer. Then byte count. This is target memories vertex buffer objects byte count. This is this byte count is target buffer memories byte count. That is vertex buffer objects byte count. This is source source memories byte count to copy after use gl unmap buffer gl array buffer or we can say Don't miss this part. We mapped, mapped PTR. Then after copying the memory to vertex buffer object, we have to unmap. Now press Ctrl F5. It rotates. Please understand that we are rotating the vertices like this. Debug vertices NL. Press Ctrl F5. We are rotating the vertices.